We are back with the next Smart Speed Showcase. If you're new here, I'm your host, Nate Montgomery. And in this series, we talk about the ways customers have been using our platform. Today, we're taking a look at how you can use Smart Suite as a simple CRM, but sync the information with Google Contacts. Let's dive right in. In other showcases, I've often talked about bringing data in from other platforms, but I usually highlight bringing information in from a form because it is a direct way to get information into SmartSuite. For the other use cases where you're bringing information from other platforms or want to get SmartSuite information out into other tools you use, I wanted to show you a use case of what's capable and of how customers are doing it. One of the more popular use cases of SmartSuite is to use it as a CRM to run your business. Now, if you're working closely in Google Contacts, you may want updates in SmartSuite to be reflected in Google Contacts and vice versa. We're going to highlight that in this video. We're going to be utilizing make.com here to connect the two platforms, but this is not going to be a make.com tutorial, so I'm not going to dive deep into the configuration of the scenarios inside of make. However, if you are curious about the scenarios I've created, I will leave a link to the blueprints in the description below. Before I dive into the integration at all, I want to talk about the structure. It's very simple here. Inside of this data schema here, we have the two apps, contacts and accounts, some simple CRM information here. Moving first to the Google side of things, we can see my Google contacts list is empty. One way you might bring in contacts is from your Google calendar. If you click on an event, you can see a listing of the guests. And from here, you can hover over guest and click the add to contacts button. If we go over to Google Contacts, we can see that was created inside of here. And then if we move back to the Smart Suite side of things, we can see a record was created to reflect that. We have the full name in the full name field, the email inside of the email field. Moving back to edit the information inside of here, and we'll reflect inside of Smart Suite. If I go ahead and add the company name into the company name field and save it, when I go back to our contact summary in Smart Suite, we can see that the linked record to the account was created and you can click into the account information by clicking right on that field. Anytime you update information inside of Google Contacts, the information is going to reflect it back into Smart Suite. Now let's say you're working inside of Smart Suite and you're connecting this CRM to your sales process. You've had a new opportunity for an account come in and you want to add a contact. Just to save some time, I'm going to open up an existing record click on the action menu and duplicate this record to pretend that there's a new record going inside of SmartSuite. When I click duplicate the record, the new record is created. I'm going to change the name and I'll save the record here. Going back into grid view, we have Justin James created with a bunch of information inside of this record. Moving back over to Google Contacts, we can see Justin James contact card was created. And if I click on it, we can see all the relevant information from the fields we were collecting in SmartSuite, including the department, the title, the company, both the email and the phone number, the birthday, and then the address coming from a smart suite address field. Once again, once that is created inside of here, any changes or updates to this contact card are going to reflect back in the smart suite record. Now we have another case where you have a smart suite record that you're wanting to update information into. Let's take Emma's record for example. Once again, just to save some time, I'm going to copy the information from Justin's record above and I'm going to paste it inside of Emma's record. If I click on the phone field and paste with command V, the information across Across multiple fields is going to be pasted in. And when I move back to Google Contacts and look back at Emma's contact card, we can see the information I've pasted into that smart suite record is reflecting inside of this Google Contact, including the phone number, address, and contact details at the top. The information between Google Contacts and the smart suite is completely synced. Any changes made on one platform are going to reflect on the others. I'll quickly show the overall structure for each of the three scenarios I created for this example. The first scenario is going to watch for contacts being updated or created inside of Google Contacts. And then it's going to either update a record. And if that fails, we're going to resume with the next step, create a record in SmartSuite. For our next configuration, we're going to watch for new records in SmartSuite. We're going to look through our existing contacts. If one exists, we're going to update that contact. If not, we're going to take the error, resume it, and create a new Google contact. And finally, for the third step, we're going to watch for records updated in SmartSuite. We're going to search for that contact that exists inside of Google Contacts, and then we're going to update that contact with information from SmartSuite. And that will wrap up this SmartSuite showcase. Hopefully you got some insight on how you can sync SmartSuite with other platforms to keep the information between the two consistent. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you're curious about the blueprints, you can find those in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next week.